What is up guys? It's your boy Atrian Amrish back on Trini Vlogs here the A-Team. Today we're going to show you guys how to remove the rear bumper on a BMW F30. Stay tuned. Alright guys, so removing the rear bumper. In this video we're going to show you guys how to do it. Reason being is we're going to install the rear diffuser. You could install the rear diffuser without removing the bumper on some models, but this model, unfortunately, the newer ones have the heat shielding on the underneath, so it's quite difficult to reach to pop in the brackets for the rear diffuser. So, first step is to remove all the screws. <laughs> As you can see here, we already removed them. We had um, 8mm and 10mm all along the bottom of the rear diffuser it also holds in the bumper so go along and remove all of them that's the first step so. alright guys so we put tape just with the bumper line here so when we taking it off and putting it back on the bumper doesn't scratch this part of the wheel arch here so I'm just going to show you guys which screws we're removing under the wheel arch here alright guys so there's under the wheel latch, you can see we have one 8 mm here, another 8 mm here, and we have a T20 on the top here. So that's the tree we are removing. Again, it's a T20 on the top here. You have an 8 mm here, and you have another 8 mm here. Alright guys, so to get enough space to remove screws from under the rear wheel arch, jacked up the car here, right? So it gives you a lot more space to work. So you should move any screws from the wheel arch. Alright guys, so after removing that, the next step is to remove this plate over the rear tail light. You could just use a flat head here it's out and then you pull in out and up to right. it. so that gives you access to the rear tail light I'm gonna remove the rear tail light to get to some clips and screws that holds the rear bumper here so both sides and you're good Right, and from there after removing the two 10 millimeters you're just going to hold the tail light here remove your tape that is stuck there and slide it back and out right. then you unclip it so you just be unclipping the tail light Right, so you unclip your tail light and remove it. Notice this grommet here. So what's fitting into the hole here on the end as well as the two screws. So, so unclip, you press the tab here. Just press this tab and slide out. So again, you need to repeat that step for both sides guys. Down the right, gonna do the left now. After removing your, your tail light, just popping out from the edge here. Pull in and you're pulling out towards you. You just pull out, all the clips will be removed and then you got two tabs here on the inside that you gotta press in so you just pressing them in and once it's flush you can, it, it can be removed right so down the right side gonna do the left as well <laughs> remember you need to repeat steps for both sides so it pops out very easily all the tabs And just need to pop the two lights on the two tabs, sorry, under the tail lights here. Alright, so once that is off, the last thing to remove would be these two screws here, one on either side. Ten? Yeah, so they are ten millimeter screws. After removing those, if you have the parking sensors, PDR, um, those will be connected to the bumper. So make sure you have something to rest your bumper on 
so you wouldn't strain the connections hi right, guys so we have one side removed here and I'm actually moving the other side as you can see just pressing the tab down and in and the bumper will be removed and you just wiggle it out wiggle 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 right and your bumper will just slide right out now don't forget you got the connectors on the inside here so as you can see there is one there is one now he's gonna show you how to remove the connector there Right guys, so the PDR connectors, some of them have these little tabs on the back that holds it into these grooves here. So you just basically turn in the tab here 90 degrees like this and pops it out the grooves. Right? So this is our look here. Rear bumper off. Have it on the ground here. Just make sure to secure it so it doesn't scratch. We have the two tail lights in there screws there, rear bumper there so yeah I'll give you guys a little look in here this is the hybrid model as you can see that is where the battery pack is located you can see the connector there the power connector cable running to the battery pack so pretty cool to see I'll look inside here alright guys so normally the next step here would be to remove your where the fuse are from your bumper however we did it before so you can see the where the fuse here is not attached we already removed it so our next step will be to actually install the M performance where the fuse so on the back here pretty cool to see I believe this is the actual PDR sensor box we have one on each side all the sensor connections actually run into this box here both sides we have one there one on this side here. Pretty cool to see what's located behind the bumper. Give you guys a close up. So just framework around the bumper. Looks really strange to see a car without the bumper. Yeah. So that's pretty much it. Bumper sitting here on the ground. Alright, so next up guys, going to show you all how to install the rear diffuser and performance rear diffuser. Alright guys, so here we have the two diffusers. This plain black one here is the stock rear diffuser. This one here is the M performance rear diffuser. As you would have seen in a previous video, spray paint video. It's recommended from the M performance manual that you spray the outer parts on both sides and you just leave the middle part with the aggressive fins in black so the outer part in body colored most people actually leave the whole thing black however it ties into the back bumper and looks more seamless if you paint the ends body colored so that's why we did it it completes the look a little more it looks much more aggressive so it will be going this way on the car that's a look there so we're going to show you guys how to install it now Right, so we have a mesh now bringing across the bumper here and yeah so you kind of need to turn it almost upside down you could see so we laid some cardboard on the floor to ensure not to scratch the bumper and yeah we'll show you guys how we fit the new red diffuser to it okay, so we fit the new red diffuser this way on the bumper the idea is to get these clips here sorry it would focus yeah so the idea is to get these clips here to click into place we weren't able to get it from trying we're just removing the red diffuser under the car because the heat shield was in the way so here we're actually getting them to click into place easily so we're going to click all the tabs there are 10 tabs along the way see it snaps into place you need to get all to snap in properly right So we update you guys when we have all snapped into place. Alright guys, so we have all the clips here clipped into place nicely. You actually hear them snap into place 
all the way across and we have one on the end there as well so quick installation and to mount it back up everything in reverse order i will give you guys a quick look in place on the inside of the bumper here I believe we have part numbers and whatnot um nothing much you see on the inside here aftermarket that's the price tag all right so to mount back up it was pretty simple didn't really get to record it for you guys because we we're holding both sides but um, you just need to hold the bumper a little lower than it's actually on the car can I go back to PD, um, PDR connections, PDC connections, yeah PDC I believe connect them back and then you just fit the bumper you fit in these two lining up these two notches in place on both sides and one these two, once these two notches are lined up the whole edge here lines up pretty well and just snaps back into place very securely Right, so that's it. Next step is to put in back your 10 millimeter bolts on either side here. And be sure to hand tighten these when you're taking them apart. It's okay to use power tools, but when you put them, them back together, be sure to hand tighten them. That's so you don't over tighten and break the plastic because it's hold, plastic, it's hold holding on to. the top and you can just. Give it a slight turn. You don't need to talk it out. I know from experience, trust me. Yeah, he breaks a lot of sh around here. <laughs> Alright, so next part of the reinstall mount back up. Yeah, your headlights, so you just plug in back. Stay light, sorry. Just plug in back. Connection. You'll feel a slight click and fit back your wiring harness in there. Then you just line up the grommet with the hole on the end here and the light should slide back into place right so securely into place securing back your screws here and then you just be replacing the covers right so the light back into place here guys nice and easy next up is to remove your piece of plastic protector that goes over here just slides back into place like this that's it make sure it fits properly and you put back in the notch there that holds it in have a mesh on the side screen back in the plastic notch that holds it into place okay. alright guys so on this plastic protector there are two little grooves on the bottom here and you slide in it into space just fit them into the hole here and slide them in to make sure it fits. Right, so once it's in there, place back in your notch and you're good to go. Alright guys, so and fit the mark the piece under the wheel well. Just remember that there's a plastic strip that goes in between the metal backing and the inner liner. So you just fit it into the groove and you'll see the hole lines up there. And then insert your screws and tighten them down. Alright guys, so final step would be to, for the bumper, would be to replace the two bolts here. These two are the bumper bolts. And then along the diffuser, we have all the 8mm and 10mm to replace along the whole bottom of the diffuser. So that's the final step. After we do this, we'll show you guys a final look of the diffuser. Alright, so this is the final completed install. This is the red diffuser, guys, and performance red diffuser. Fit is perfect. Everything lines up 100. Way more aggressive with the fins on the back here and the outer part painted here. So it ties in with the body nice. Ties in really nicely and makes the bumper itself look lower and more aggressive. So the ends of the bumper looks like it extended about 2 or 3 inches lower with the diffuser on the ends than the nice aggressive part with the fins in the middle. Looks very very aggressive now, a lot lower, completes the back end a lot more. So that's it for this install guys. I believe this is the last video in the M Performance Arrowkit install. So see you guys for the next one.
Alright, so that was the install and performance rear diffuser. You guys see how aggressive it looks. So that is basically completion of the M performance I look at. We had the front splitter, side skirt, extensions and now the rear diffuser. So yeah guys, that's pretty much it. Again, if it video helped you all, leave a like, share the video, drop a comment. Drop a comment if you all guys having any problems or you guys did the install. Also Click the notification bell to get notified when new videos drop. And as usual, follow us on Instagram and Facebook for more live updates and more stuff coming to the channel. We'll see you guys for the next one. We Peace out. out.